This is Twit. Google Pay has been updated to do peer-to-peer -peer payments. In fact, actually, uh, a lot of new... No, it links to your bank account. Yeah, it's a lot of new Isn't stuff. Isn't that the story? We're, well, it's we're the talking same. about the bank account story. Well, it's all, it's all part of it's all the, the same... same uh, right. I focused Google on a different Pay. portion uh, of it than you did. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the change really log up portion. The story, Leo. Jeez. <laughs> it now allows so I, I peer to peer it's a change log because this is something that they've had before, updating and updating again. But but there's a there's a critical mass point. Is 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 it a big enough change that you might actually mention it on Twitter? <laughs> well, I guess it fails the test. Actually, would you okay. do a fleet? Is Fair the question. Enough. <laughs> Wait a minute. They're called fleets. What is a singular? Is there a fleet or are they just all fleets? Would you do a fleets? Do we I know? Would flit. A Twitter store. I would is the verb form the flit? I will flit the I will fleet. flit the fleet. The fleet I flit. I fleeted. I fleeted. It doesn't I, sound and then in the good past at all. Tense, when it's gone, I flat. All right, back to Google Pay. I don't know how we got it's in this one. <laughs> Google Pay is launching Plex bank accounts with City and other partners next year. That's a little bit different. The new yeah. app is in early access. Uh, this is the official announcement. Let's go say. They had an say event Say hello. Today. See, see Ant, I think that's a test. If they have an event, it's bigger than the change log. It shouldn't be in the change log. Okay. Yeah, I agree so, with that. That's the test. So this I, is. See, I, like, I guess I was focusing more on just that they're coming back. I didn't necessarily think about the, the Plex car. Well, where'd they go? They didn't go anywhere. Um. Well, yeah. Okay, wait. I mean, let's these are features let's, they used let's to have. start this. Let's, okay. let's just do the story. <laughs> let's do the story. We're getting a little bogged down. For so the, let's start with they had an announcement today where they yes. shared. What was it, Stacy? Google, Google Plex. And what is oh, Plex? Oh, let's talk about it. Leo, <laughs> what is Plex? Plex uh, allows you to have a digital bank account. They've also added peer to peer payments. And Google Pay now can only be used on one smartphone at a time, which is a bit of a disadvantage. Oh, Google's really? kind of trying to get in the same business Apple's been in for some time with uh, Apple Pay. Um, the announcement, uh, say hello to the new Google Pay. The new application will help you, quote, improve your relationship with money, end quote. Well, okay. It's also, it lets you, it's, it's like budgeting. Venmo in the... You can help your friends. You yep. can say, peer to peer. hey, yep. give me this money. Yep. It also does things like it holds rewards for various businesses that you're working with. I think Apple Wallet does that. Um, and then there probably are budgeting things. Let's, um, let's go to the video. Oh, wait a minute. It's 28 minutes long. Never mind. Let's not go. Let's, let's skip the video. <laughs> that's, that's far beyond changing. They are, they are working with probably, was it 11 or 16 banks to offer this? Although there's a, something with City specifically, like if you want to start a new account with Google Pay, it'll be through Citibank. So and that's new, isn't that's it? That's new, yes. Okay. I guess, Aunt, what you're thinking about, maybe remember they had a credit card for a while briefly? Yeah, they had a debit card because yeah. I used to have one. I did too. A white debit card. Yeah, so and that went, went away. away. You just yeah. killed it off. Yeah. Now they wish they'd done that because Apple's making bank on its Apple Pay card. These Plex accounts uh, are with City, but other partners will come along next year. Uh, so it's more now, basically Google Pay was touch touchless payments, NFC payments. And if you want, you can link your bank account with Google and get like all this information tied to what you've purchased, which is kind of like searchability and I assume hmm. eventually analytics. Well, and what's interesting, of course, is Google has for some time offered uh, advertisers using uh, Google's ad platform uh, cross-reference information. Uh, th this is what advertisers love. Oh, and by the way, that person who saw your ad the next day charged that product at the store. And, and right. remember when we announced that and everybody's saying, what? That's kind of creepy. Uh because I guess they're collecting the transaction information and they can match you up somehow to the credit card transaction. Well, advertisers that's the like it because they, of advertising. Yes, yeah, that's, that's yeah, they want to know. Yeah, they want to know. Did that person uh, buy based on the advertisement? Um, yeah, that's everything they want. Is it Valhalla or the Holy Grail? Hmm. Valhalla is like heaven, so yeah. it's. I would say it's more like the Holy Grail. I th I was in the same place, Leo. I was like, Valhalla. <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> well, but it's heavenly. It's not. It's the halva of the advertising. Halva. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey. I think no. I think they've arrived in Valhalla. They've arrived in advertiser heaven. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm sticking with it. No. He's gonna go with Valhalla. Right I'm going with Valhalla. <laughs> Uh, that is where the heroes killed in battle in Norse mythology feast for an eternity with Odin. Yes. Oh, and aren't is that what advertisers are trying to do? An endless meal with Odin? But aren't they waiting to come back and defend against Ragnarok? Yes. Isn't, okay. Stacy, now you're doing it, see? <laughs> and by the way... And we're talking about this on a Wednesday. There's a new ransomware called Ragnarokker. Oh, wow. I like that. I just like the name. I don't like the ransomware. Uh, <laughs> With regards to, to this account, um, would you all recommend the average person to to just dive in and use this as their accounting system, bank bank account system? Or do you suggest going to... Oh, because Google will kill it in three years. Isn't Pardon. that funny? That honestly, that is really a consideration nowadays with Google. I don't know if I want to go all in on any Google product because then what happens with Google tires of it, just as right. they did, Ant, with that credit card, which I still right. have, but is not right. useful. And they didn't. Yeah. Last, it's just uh, a credit card. I know uh, your bank, and it's not your bank. They're partnering with Cities, real banks. You'd have a so, real bank, yeah. Yeah, your real bank account is never going to go away if you do this, right? And it's FDIC insured and all the good stuff that you should look for. Um, and it gives you the functionalities of things like Venmo with the protections of the financial system, which is actually kind of nice. Right. Banks for a long time have fought uh, a rear guard battle against Venmo with Zelle, Z-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And a lot of right. banks use that Zelle system to kind of give Venmo-like features to your bank account. But yeah. if nobody else Although, has it, then what good does it do, right? But Zelle was actually, they had a lot of fraud yeah. uh, recently. So yeah. that's, that's a little bit... I what like Venmo. Everybody has Venmo. Everybody app. takes Venmo. I use Venmo all the time. When my kids that need money, I Venmo it to it. Or Cash.me is good. Yeah, uh, that's from Square. I. It's interesting. I mean, I've been I've been researching digital, you know, uh, online only bank accounts for some time because I'm mm -hmm. always looking to see if there's a better deal out there and. The thing when you're assessing an online bank account, you got to figure out what the fees are going to be, what it's going to cost you if you go below a certain amount. Uh, you may be, if you have a savings account, interested in what their rate is in the savings account, and those vary widely. So there is some consumer shopping that's appropriate before you create a bank account with anybody. Uh, I usually go to Nerd Wallet, which does some reporting and rating of these kinds of things yep. to see. Uh, they'll at least there's at least a place you can go to kind of compare the the various rates and so forth.